I'm a theoretical chemist and a computational biophysicist. My research is to develop and apply all the advanced molecular dynamic simulation methods to understand complex chemical biochemical systems. So the general question we try to tackle is how to use computer simulation to capture very long time scale dynamics of the molecules, the complex molecular systems, to really have a sufficient understanding about their behaviors and to be able to make a prediction on their properties. Right, the question we are tackling now is how to develop algorithms to perform computer simulation that allow us to really see this very long time scale motions of the protein, to see how these motions are linked to the properties of the biological molecules, and to, to understand how their behavior really makes biochemical system to work. So the big picture goal of my work is to be able to really put chemical or biochemical experiment in the computer to really be able to see these chemical systems through the computing and also understand and perform experiments right in the silicon world. Although our primary focus is biochemical studies, right, but at the same time we are also working on the materials chemistry project as well. Right, and so the we hope that we will be able to translate all these techniques we develop for biochemical studies to be useful for uh, materials chemistry studies as well. One research we are working on is to capture the protein dynamics, right? To understand how they function, right? Particularly this long time of skill dynamics, right? Which really make the protein really function. Another big project we are working on is to develop techniques which allow us to directly predict and design the drug molecules or even the protein analogs like antibody, for instance. A student in my group will be able to learn how to apply the threat method right, into development of algorithms and uh, be able to program this algorithm, algorithm into the computer and apply these techniques for biomedical study, biophysical studies.